if you go to Google Earth. Google Earth, you can download as an app, or I believe you can also use it in some web browsers. It will allow you to zoom up on any location, pretty much on Earth, and see it as if it's a three-dimensional landscape. On the left side over here is where I can put in some locations. Here I'm looking at the lower falls of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. This is in Yellowstone. If I double click it on any of the locations that I've saved here, it will usually zoom in to where it thinks it is. In this case, it's off a little bit. It's on the canyon right below the waterfall. But if I get up here, I can look. You have some controls in the upper right. Uh, here you can change the direction that you're looking. You can also control if you're looking straight down or if you're looking more at an angle where you'll get more of the 3D quality of what you have. And then you have a little hand icon here where you can pan around the scene. And you can also just click directly on the map. And I think if you hold down certain keys on your keyboard, like the command key, uh, it gives you a different ways of rotating compared to just clicking all by itself. But what the heck is this useful for? Well, I want to find out when these two waterfalls will be in the shade. So at the top of my screen, there's an icon that looks like the sun. If I turn it on, it's going to try to cast light across this three-dimensional image. And in the upper left of my screen, right here, is a slider where I can tell it what date I'm planning on visiting it. I can also then move this slider across and it will show me on that particular date where it thinks the sun is going to travel across the sky and it's going to visually show me on the image when the sun would cast across those particular areas. So watch what happens when I grab this slider and I'll first move it all the way to the other side over here. So right now it is 12.55 is the time and I'm just going to bring this across slowly. Now it's one o'clock in the morning. Obviously at one o'clock in the morning it'd be dark, right? And to keep going two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock and we're getting up to almost 6 a.m. So now you start seeing a little hint of light coming in there. Can you see it changing a little bit? 7.45 in the morning here and I can see when is it going to come up and be in the sun? And then when is that sun going to change angles enough? Watch the lower falls where the shade is going to come across. And now that lower fall is going to be in the shade. The upper one still might have a little bit of light on it. So I keep going. And about this time of day, 4.22 p.m., sometime between 4.22 p.m. and before that sun goes down, I might want to capture that, that waterfall because it should be in the shade based on the angle the sun will be at at that particular time on that particular day. Isn't that pretty crazy?